marked in green all the areas that need to be drilled down. Um, all of these little pegs, except with the exception of this one, uh, are just meant for the internal components. So I'm going to drill those down. Um, the goal is to drill them down as close to the base as possible so I can maybe if I need to relocate some of these to be motherboard standoffs for screws um, and only re removing as many as necessary just to keep the structural integrity intact. Uh, I'm going to see how well it fits without moving this raised T portion. Um, if possible I want to leave that intact. If not I may have to cut that out but the less I have to do to this case the better. So I'll take the Dremel to it and see how it goes. So there's one peg down. We'll do the rest and see how it goes. So now that I have the inside cleaned out, I've uh, marked some holes where I'm going to drill the mounting location for the board. And hopefully that works out. I've got only a little bit of clearance with the feet on here so I'll have to use some low profile screws to hold it into place we'll see how how that goes So I'm looking at the best way to save space inside here this case, so if you look at that profile, you'll see we've got quite a jut right here with that DVI. So I'm going to so get my soldering iron and uh, desolder this DVI port, see if I can get that to come off cleanly. And uh, since we won't be using the DVI port at all in this build, I guess I should be able to heat those solder joints off up and, and get the DVI socket off to give us a little bit more room to work with. Okay, so I have my holes drilled and uh, working on mounting the hardware. As you can see, right there I've got a little screw that I bolted down. Um, and on this up here will be bolted down on the three side sections. A little screw there, a little screw there, a little screw there. So hopefully this holds it in place. I'm just using some little screws with a bolt that was from a fan on uh, just a normal computer case fan from forever ago, so that's what I'm using. So I've got the screws in place and uh, pretty happy with it. 
Um, it's nice and solid in there, um, which the last NESPC I built was flopping all over the place in there, which wasn't that great. Uh, I meant to secure it down, and when the lid was on it wasn't too bad, but it, this is definitely in here really solid, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I didn't intend to open this back port all the way, but I didn't see any other way to do it. Uh, so I will have this black thing in place that hopefully matches the motif of the NES. Um, and on the side here, the metal bezel inside there had to go as well, um, but I intend to use these Wi-Fi adapters and have them poking through on each one, and uh, we'll see if that works out pretty well. So, not completely stock look, but it should look really clean. Um, and all the holes I've cut are kind of in line with the original Nintendo creases. So I tried the purist route and now I'm going kind of the a little bit do what I need to do to make it be solid. So I intend to use this machine as a everyday computer that I use in my home so I want it to be solid and not flopping around so we'll go from there so right now i'm shaping a little piece of plastic that should be able to cover the back panel here uh, we'll go up like this up and under and hopefully we'll be a good little back plate for me so kind of line things up and i'm using the original motherboard tray to be able to cut a hole for the HDMI adapter. So if I line it up like this and make a mark, I should be able to cut out that HDMI port pretty easily. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I've got some uh, plastic pieces I fabricated um, that need to go and be placed on this. So I've got some epoxy and a C-clamp. So we'll see how well that goes. Okay, so I have the shims in place. Just kind of waiting for that epoxy to set up. Hopefully it makes a nice good seal. Okay, so I've got my standoffs installed. Uh, epoxied down and I'm going to do a test fit and see if everything works. So let's give it a shot. Putting in the base screws to hold the motherboard down. I'll put the motherboard itself Seems to be lined up pretty well. Take my plastic washer and screws.
order to make the holes to drill, I just had the motherboard lined up and used a Sharpie and uh, pushed the Sharpie down through the holes to let me know where I should drill. I won't tighten these down too hard since I probably will have to take it out again to do further miscellaneous finish work. Okay, so I got everything in. It's looking fairly good. On the side we got those wireless ports. And I'm pretty happy with the results so far.